Hey Booktube, how's it going? Here we are. It's that day again. Um, so today we are going to, um, I'm going to kind of do a TBR and it's kind of because I haven't done one in a while, but like I'm not, like I think this is probably like the next two weeks of reading um, give or take, but, um, sometimes I get going really good, and then, um, something comes up, or I get a new book, and I get so excited about that new book that I completely stop reading, um, what I was reading, and then in the process of, like, just putting books on bookshelves or on tables or whatnot, um, the book completely from my mind and I forget all about it until I pick up the book and I see there's a bookmark in it and I go, Oh, I was reading this and then, you know, so, um, some of these are like that. Some of these aren't, um, so here we go. Um, one of them that, and I know I even showed this on a video fairly recently, um, is Tarzan and the Ant-Man by Edgar Rice Burroughs. Uh, this is the tenth Tarzan book, and, um, like, I started it, and I don't know what I picked up, but, um, I completely, I guess, stopped reading it. Did I finish it? No. No, I don't think I did. Okay. So, I, yeah. So, there's that. But, um, along with that Burroughs, uh, we got Pirates of Venus. I've shown this book, like, on the last, like, nine videos. Um, it had probably one of the best openings ever. And then, as that opening chapter continued, it kind of negated how awesome it was. Um... But I still have hope. I still have hope. So, um, this is the first of the Venus... Oh, yeah, and I got a boo-boo. Um, this is the first of the Venus uh, books. Carson Napier. So, those are going to be a lot of fun. Um, then, I'm finally going to buckle down and try reading... Uh, DeCamp and Carter Conan book, Conan of Aquilonia. Um, and this might be a bad thing to start with um, out of these because my least favorite Conan stories are the ones where he's king. Like, I... They're not horrible, but like... Man, there's like a million other things I'd rather have Conan do than be a kind of, yeah, I'm king and I, I wish I was just out and pillaging and stuff or whatever Conan does. But, um, like when he's all like crotchety, crotchety, um, but anyway, so, um, I don't think I've read any DeCamp or Carter Conan stuff. So, we'll find out. This could be good. Oh, man, why did I read the back of that? This sounds like a very Tarzan-ish story. Well, I know there's probably multiple stories in here. Let me just see. Yeah, there's four stories in here. Yeah, I don't think I've read those. Okay. So, there's that. Um, next would be... The Island by Peter Benchley. Um, if you recall, this was in my like summer reading. Um, I wanted to read a bunch of books like this. Um, and since they're on the back, I'll just do this. Jaws I liked. Um, I think the movie's better. Uh, just because there's some scandalous shit in it that I didn't necessarily care for. And The Deep. Um, I didn't really feel like they were ever that deep in the water. Uh, I felt like it was a little bit of false advertising. 
So, I have no idea what the island is going to be like. But, it might be interesting. I don't know. So, I might do that. Then, um, I was doing a bunch of research for Weird Mask, uh, the zine I do, like the pulpy kind of thing. And I was looking up, um, like, planetary romance and sword and planet kind of um, that fantasy sci-fi genre, subgenre that, um, as far as I knew, Edgar Rice Burroughs basically created with the Barsoom um, John Carter of Mars books. Well, in reading a bunch and researching a bunch, I found that this book that actually we hauled probably close to a year ago. Oh, wait, do we have this before that? I don't remember if we hauled this book or not. Um, but this is an awesome little ace paperback. Um, Gulliver of Mars by Edwin L. Arnold. Um, and it was originally called Lieutenant Gulliver Jones. And this book is in fucking great shape. Look at that spine. I don't think it's ever been opened. Wow. The corners aren't bent. Wow, we, we did a good job hanging on to it. Oh, I don't even want to open it. Maybe I'll try to find an ebook of it. Um, this was first published as a hardcover in 1905. So yeah, this predates that. Um, but yeah, that is a Frank Frazetta piece on the cover, even though it kind of isn't extremely reminiscent of his work. So I'm going to give that a go, because this is probably what inspired Burroughs to write the Barsoom books. So I'm curious. Um, next, because this is a really quick, short read, 150 pages, um, Barba the Slaver. I just hauled this the other day, so we'll see what this is like. Um, yeah, so I heard it's really nasty. He pandered to the lusts of decadent nobles with slaves deftly trained to submit. Yikes. But yeah, I think this is Roman. Like, if it's... Yeah, Rome. Okay, the finest slaves of Rome. And then finally, I'll be digging into oh, oh, the Batman Volume 3 from Rebirth, I Am Bane. Now, I have most of the floppies from this, so this is probably going to be kind of a reread. But I do remember I missed a couple issues. What what does this have in it? 16 through 20, 23 and 24 in the Batman annual. I think 21 and 22 were the ones with Swamp Thing that were actually really good. Um, yeah, so I'll probably hit that up too. Other than that, that's it. Um, I'm going to have some updates for my Patreon subscribers and also um, some updates for Weird Mask. I kind of need some feedback. Um, so those of you who are subscribed to this channel um, and you are also interested in the weird mask zine and everything. Um, I'm going to be talking to you. Um, but yeah, and if you have any like uh, recommendations for the channel, um, let me know what you guys want to see. Like, um, Zoe is starting a new job on Monday. So... I will probably, I don't want to promise it, but I'll probably be able to have her on here more with me, which is a lot of fun. I love doing videos with her, so that's going to be cool. 
Um, but yeah, just let me know if you guys have any ideas. Like, if you want to see more halls, if you want to see... Uh, we've had some people say they want to see bookshelf tours, um, which we could do if you guys want bookshelf tours. Uh, and yeah, just like anything you want to know. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.